Hey everyone, Corey Takei for Red Carpet Report at the LA Film Festival for the premiere of Brixby Bear. Oh, you like it? <laughs> I feel yeah. like I can barely hear you. It's like my issue. Yeah, I've well, been yelling a little bit. Uh, congratulations Thank on you. the film. Thank How do you, you feel having it premiere right here at one of the biggest film festivals in the world? Uh, it's incredible. I mean, I've, I've, I've dreamed of it since I've been here. I've been here for over 10 years, and this is my first produced credit and my first movie, so uh, it's exciting to be at the LA Film Festival, and Arclight is the bar that's, or the, the, the movie theater that's our rest, our neighborhood movie theater that we're always coming to, so I've been coming here for 10 years and seeing uh, movies here for so long, and coming to the LA Film Festival and seeing screenings, so it's very surreal and very just uh, exciting, and uh, this is where the, the movie started, this is where we wrote the movie in Los Angeles. Angeles and to sort of celebrate that spirit of Los Angeles. I mean, really what a trip that you're on the other end now. Yeah, it's crazy. It's not something I would have uh, ever expected, but it's very exciting. Do you have any nerves going into this right now? Uh, a little bit, yeah. It's a little, uh, we've, we've shown it to a few audiences and uh, there's been good reaction, so it's, it's felt good. We felt a lot of love from the screenings, but there's something about being in our hometown and, uh, you know, it feels like the stakes are higher, I guess, a little bit because it's our friends and neighbors and colleagues and everything, and, but it's awesome. It's just great to see everyone and all of our friends are here and all that kind of stuff. So. And what was the inspiration for you? Uh, the inspiration was uh, very specifically a lot of like uh, 80s puppet uh, shows, uh, specifically uh, the Teddy Ruxpin live action uh, oh my VHS, God. which is, uh, uh, that, that was big for us production design wise. Uh, but uh, we're inspired by a lot of stuff. It's, it's such a mishmash of tones and styles and uh, there's weird 80s VHS stuff and then there's kind of a sort of very grounded cinematic uh, world that happens also um, and uh, so yeah there's a lot of different things going on. I get a little bit of a Five Nights at Freddy feel. Yeah yeah hopefully not as terrifying but <laughs> definitely a kind of I don't know what I'm looking at here exactly and uh, we like that feeling that kind of mystery that kind of like what is actually going on here. I, I think um, if that's what you were going for with the trailer you guys nailed it. So. Yeah oh thank you yeah. yeah definitely yeah I think people were probably confused by it but uh, oh, yeah, that's what we like so. Oh, that's what makes us want to go see more. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm, I'm guessing so since you're a writer, obviously, yeah. uh, you probably have some, like a YouTube channel or something that you have your own stuff on. Uh, no, no YouTube channel. What? Uh, yeah, sorry, it's hard to disappoint. Uh, but uh, just boring words on a page. It's, it's definitely kind of not a... boring words. <laughs> yeah, sorry. All right. Well, thank you so much for the chat. Thank you very much. Congrats. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks for watching guys and don't forget to press that thumbs up button and hit subscribe and in the comments below let me know which independent film you enjoy.